Are you ready to witness the future of transportation? Get ready to board the Trent Maya. This incredible $20 billion project is set to transform Mexico's transportation system and improve the lives of millions of people in the region. With over 1,500 kilometers of track and six main stations, the Tren Maya will provide fast and reliable transportation to locals and tourists alike, connecting major destinations in the Yucatan Peninsula and the Gulf of Mexico. In this video, we'll take a closer look at this game-changing project, exploring its benefits, challenges, and timeline. Don't miss out on this exciting journey. Welcome to Build to Innovate, where we explore groundbreaking projects from around the world. Today, we're diving into Mexico's Tren Maya project, an ambitious initiative that's set to revolutionize transportation and promote sustainable development in the region. With billions of dollars in investment and plans to connect 1,500 kilometers of rail, the Tren Maya project is one of the most significant infrastructures in Mexico's history. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the Tren Maya's origins, scope, benefits, and challenges, as well as its potential impact on the environment and local communities. Let's get started. The Tren Maya project was announced in 2018 by the incoming government of Mexican President Andrés Manuel López Obrador. The project's main objective is to boost tourism and economic growth in the southeastern states of Mexico, particularly in the Yucatán Peninsula and the Gulf of Mexico region. The Tren Maya will connect five states, Chiapas, Tabasco, Campeche, Yucatán, and Quintana Roo, and 15 municipalities, including popular tourist destinations such as Cancún, Tulum, and Palenque. The Tren Maya project aims to provide a more efficient, reliable, and comfortable transportation option for locals and visitors alike. By connecting major tourism hubs and archaeological sites, the Tren Maya will reduce travel times and encourage more visitors to explore the region. It's expected that the project will create over 80,000 jobs during its construction and operation phases and boost the region's GDP by 1.5%. The Tren Maya project is massive in scope and complexity. It involves the construction of 15 train stations, 12 viaducts and two bridges, as well as the refurbishment of 300 kilometers of existing rail. The project will also incorporate sustainable features such as solar panels, rainwater harvesting systems and wastewater treatment plants to reduce its environmental impact. If you are liking this content so far and find it helpful, please go ahead and hit the like button, click the notification bell and subscribe to our channel to get more great content from us. The train will stop at several popular destinations, including the ancient Mayan ruins of Chichen Itza, Tulum and Palenque, as well as the natural wonders of the Bacala Lagoon and the Sian Khan Biosphere Reserve. These destinations offer a rich cultural and natural heritage, with unique experiences such as exploring ancient pyramids, swimming in crystal clear cenotes and observing wildlife in their natural habitat. The Tren Maya project also has the potential to promote tourism and economic development in underserved communities, particularly those in rural areas. The train will stop in smaller towns and villages that are often overlooked by tourists, providing a boost to local businesses and communities. Now, let's take a closer look at the train itself. The Tren Maya project plans to use modern and efficient trains that meet high safety and comfort standards. The trains will be designed to carry both passengers and freight, with a capacity of up to 1,200 passengers and 2,500 tons of cargo. The train cars will feature air conditioning, comfortable seats, and amenities such as food and beverage service. The train will also be equipped with modern technology, such as Wi-Fi and onboard entertainment, to provide a comfortable and enjoyable ride for passengers. The exterior of the train will showcase a sleek and modern design that pays homage to the speed, elegance, and beauty of the Jaguar. The interior will feature hues of blue and artwork that reflect the culture and history of the region. The train will also be designed with sustainability in mind, using renewable energy sources and materials that reduce its environmental impact. The Tren Maya project will consist of three main lines, the Gulf of Mexico line, the Caribbean line, and the Chiapas line. The Gulf of Mexico line will run from Palenque to Cancun and cover a distance of 830 kilometers, passing through the states of Tabasco, Campeche, and Yucatan. The Caribbean line will run from Cancun to Tulum and cover a distance of 120 kilometers. The Chiapas line will run from Palenque to the border with Guatemala and cover a distance of 260 kilometers. 
The Trenmaya project promises significant benefits for the region and the country. One of the most notable benefits is its potential to boost tourism and economic growth. The project will make it easier for tourists to travel between popular destinations and archaeological sites, which will increase the region's attractiveness as a tourist destination. The project will also create jobs and promote the development of local businesses, particularly in rural areas that have been historically underserved. The Tren Maya project also has the potential to reduce environmental impact by encouraging the use of mass transit over personal vehicles. The project will use sustainable technologies and incorporate eco-friendly features to reduce its carbon footprint and promote a more sustainable future. The project also aims to improve access to transportation for local communities, particularly those in remote and underserved areas. Despite its potential benefits, the Tren Maya project is not without its challenges and controversies. One of the most significant concerns is its potential impact on indigenous communities and natural resources. The project's construction and operation may affect the region's delicate ecosystems, including wetlands, forests, and biodiversity hotspots. Also, the project may have negative consequences for indigenous communities, including displacement, loss of land, and cultural erosion. Another challenge facing the Trend Maya project is its funding and financial viability. The project has an estimated cost of $20 billion, and its financing has come under scrutiny due to the government's decision to cancel a previously planned airport project in Mexico City. Critics argue that the Trend Maya project may divert resources from other critical needs, such as healthcare, education, and social welfare. The project's revenue model and profitability are uncertain, and there are concerns about its long-term sustainability. The Tren Maya project has the potential to have a significant impact on the environment and local communities, both positive and negative. On the one hand, the project's sustainable features and promotion of mass transit could reduce greenhouse gas emissions and air pollution, and improve the region's overall ecological health. Additionally, the project could improve access to transportation and boost economic development in underserved communities, particularly those in rural areas. On the other hand, the Tren Maya project could have negative consequences for the region's biodiversity and cultural heritage. The project's construction and operation could harm fragile ecosystems, disrupt migratory routes of wildlife, and increase habitat fragmentation. There is also a concern that the project could have adverse effects on the cultural heritage of indigenous communities, including the loss of traditional knowledge, language, and identity. The Tren Maya project is a massive undertaking that promises to transform transportation and promote economic development in Mexico's southeastern region. While the project has the potential to create jobs, boost tourism, and improve access to transportation, it also faces significant challenges and controversies. The project's impact on the environment and indigenous communities must be carefully considered and mitigated. Ultimately, the success of the Tren Maya project will depend on its ability to balance economic development with environmental sustainability and social justice. Thanks for watching this video about the Tren Maya project. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content on innovative projects from around the world. What do you think about Tren Maya? If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them below. We love hearing from our viewers. Until next time, keep building to innovate.